A few years ago, I made a video on my Timex Sinclair 1000 computer, the North American version of the Sinclair ZX81. At the time, I noted it had some issues which appeared to be caused by the ULA chip starting to fail. This showed up as repeating characters on the screen and not being able to load or save programs on cassette tape. I recently revisited this issue and found that there are now some solutions available for bad ULAs. Originally, this was a custom chip made for Sinclair by Ferranti for which replacements were not readily available. However, some enterprising individuals have reverse engineered the ULA chip and re-implemented it. I purchased such a replacement called the VLA81, which is a drop-in replacement for the original ULA, which fortunately was in a socket. It's built on a small printed circuit board which contains a Xilinx CPLD, which is a programmable logic device, not a processor, which has 78 I.O. pins and 1600 logic gates which can be interconnected by programming. The VLA81 even has some additional functions which can be controlled by four small switches on the board. It was very easy to install. I simply opened up the case, accessed the Sinclair motherboard, removed the original ULA from its socket, and inserted the new module. Powering it up, my unit no longer displayed the strange display issues. When I made the last video, I discussed repairing the broken keyboard ribbon cable by removing part of it. Since then, the keyboard cable has become brittle, and what was left of it had crumbled, so I needed a replacement. Fortunately, new replacements for the ZX81 membrane keyboard are now available. Since this is a Timex Sinclair 1000, I purchased a bare membrane keyboard as well as the keyboard layout overlay sticker for the TS1000. This was also quite easy to install. The original keyboard can be carefully peeled off from the case and the new keyboard and overlay carefully seated into the case. This resolved my keyboard issues and made it work like new. Finally, despite being double the 1K memory of the ZX81, the 2K of RAM in the Timex Sinclair 1000 is pretty limiting. During the heyday of the ZX81, many users opted to purchase a RAM expansion module, either from Sinclair or third-party vendors. I purchased a new low-cost 16K memory expansion module which came in the form of a simple kit, consisting of a printed circuit board, two chips and sockets, and a connector that fits the expansion connector. This expands the machine to 16 kilobytes of memory, allowing it to run larger programs. An example is this Space Invaders program, written in machine language and implementing graphics, which requires 16K of memory. While the machine is still quite limited in capabilities and speed, and somewhat frustrating to use due to the keyboard, it's fun to play with, and I'm now able to run larger programs and load and save to tape or using a computer sound interface.